So what's going on YouTube? My name is Mehul and welcome back to another tutorial for Flutter in which we're going to set this up on our systems. Basically install Flutter so that we can actually work with the framework. Now Flutter requires us to install a bunch of things. First of all, obviously because Flutter is a framework which develops apps for <coughs> iOS and Android. If you're on Windows, you can only work for Android builds because you cannot run an iOS simulator on Windows. Secondly, if you're on Mac OS, then obviously you would need Xcode as well installed in your systems if you want to run iOS applications. Moreover, for apart from this, for Android builds, you're going to make use of Android build SDK. And the simplest way to go about that is to actually install Android Studio. So let's just first of all quickly look over through macOS. The rest of the guides are also pretty much same. There are mainly three steps in Flutter. The first one is you actually have to download the uh, Flutter binary, that is the Flutter build package, right? So once it's downloaded, uh, what you have to do is you just basically have to step number two is place it somewhere um, in your system and add it as an environment variable. Now the reason for that is because you want to actually access the Flutter CLI from the command line, the Flutter tools from the command line, and you're gonna need that. You can only do that when it is in your environment, right? So we're gonna add this to our environment, and then finally, we're gonna create a Hello World application. So I'm just gonna wait for the Flutter to download here, and then we can get started. Meanwhile, um, for the Windows build as well, you're gonna see that it's basically the same uh, you have to download a binary then you have to um, update your path in the windows right so you just have to add an environment variable in windows as well and then finally you have to basically you're good to go just install android studio that's it and android studio again could be installed simply by going to the link developer.android.com studio and just go ahead and download this big thing and that's all you just need Android uh, build tools and everything, which comes baked into Android SDK, Android Studio, that is. Right, so yeah, that's that's pretty much it for the installation part. It's, it's relatively straightforward if you just follow all the steps correctly. And uh, yeah, although a lot of people um, would be inclined to work towards in a specific IDE, I would be making use of VS Code only, in this whole series because um, I don't know I'm not really fan of a lot of IDEs anymore since I have been working with VS Code because uh, IDEs kind of like you know just pre present you with a lot of tools a lot of information more than required almost all the time whereas simple text editors like VS Code well I won't say it's a simple text editor because it's, it's very sophisticated under under the hood but still you know it makes sense you start off light and you build up as you need so yeah that's that's pretty much it let's just, just, just uh, wait for the installation part now all right so once the binary is downloaded actually that's a file so what you have to do is go to your terminal and this is same for windows mac and linux just go ahead and create a folder called maybe flutter files something like that and um on windows uh, on mac and linux it would be tar on Windows, you can use a uh, software like, um, I don't know, WinRAR or gzip, unzip, something like that. And just XF and then just give it the, the name of the binary. That is flutter underscore, flutter underscore macOS, whatever it is. And you should be good to go. Now it will just extract out all the files and what you're going to see is that you have a folder called flutter which has a folder called binary that is bin and this is the file we are looking at right so this is the executable which gets us to the flutter commands and the flutter cli and whatever so if you do a flutter dash v what you're going to see is that it should probably spit out the information not really should be flutter version all right, not really that one as well, but let's try Flutter version. Right, so this is the one. So you can see that we have our version spit out just fine. 
Now, what we really want is we want to access Flutter CLI from anywhere, right? So what we can do is we can add this path right here, this particular path to our path variable. Now for Linux and Mac OS guys, what you have to do is first of all, know, you obviously know the shell you're working with. On Linux, it's mostly bash. On Mac OS, if you're running Catalina, it's ZSH. So what you have to do is just go to your RC file. For bash, it would be bash RC. For ZSH, it would be ZSH RC. Or for bash, for Mac OS guys, which are running a um, you know older version of Mac, it could be bash profile as well. So for me, it would be ZSH RC on Mac OS. But for Linux guys, it should be bash RC for you. So I'm going to open this and what I'm going to do is I'm going to say export path is equal to whatever the variable name was. And actually I realized I didn't copy the path value here. So let's try this again. And there we go. Right. So what I'm essentially saying here is actually this should be path variable. So I want the path to be whatever the value it was. Then I want to add a new path which is right here, which is the bin folder of the Flutter, right? So once I do that, and once I do a source refresh of the file, what I can do is I can now write Flutter here and it should work just fine, right? For Windows guys, what you have to do is you have to basically add the, um, the environment variable by going to your settings or something. Right, so you just have to you just have to make sure to follow these steps, right? So yeah, that that's pretty much it. And finally, just go ahead and install Android Studio as well. It's pretty straightforward for all three distros, uh, all three operating systems. And just go ahead on this URL, download the Android Studio, and you should be good to go. I'm not following the steps for that, but once you're done with that, you should be able to get. Um, you do not really necessarily need need to open Android Studio, but yeah, you need the Android SDK installed. So make sure you open it once, at least once, and install all the SDKs and something. So yeah, that's that's pretty much it. And once you're done, you can actually run Flutter Doctor to just to see uh, if you're missing something or not. So yeah, if we are missing something, we're gonna later on we're gonna see how we can get to work with that. So. Let's just try this one more time because Mac OS is going to complain. All right, so if you get something like this on a Mac, what you have to do is just go to settings and just go ahead into the security part. Security settings. And just click on allow anyway, right? And that's that. So let's try it one more time and you should be able to open it now so yeah that, that's pretty much it and don't worry about the flutter plugins not installed we're gonna get to that later on because that's that's not really the essence of that but yeah that, that's pretty much it you just need to have these three tick and obviously if you're on windows you should not have this one windows or linux xcode is not available there so yeah that's pretty much it for this video if you liked it don't forget to subscribe thank you for watching and i'll see you then in the next video.